A couple of years ago, I was one of the jurors on the documentary section of the film festival. And so that's been my only real connection with the festival. Of course, I, I go to it when I, when I can. And I think it's a great event. Uh, I, what I like about the festival is, is it's relatively low key. There's not a, not a huge amount of uh, brouhaha or glitz associated with it. It's, um, it's not quite a working festival in the sense that things are being sold there. But it's a good overview, I think, of what's going on. And I think Faini does a great job. Now, uh, when, when you decide that, uh, obviously, you have a uh, professional interest in seeing documentaries, how do you decide which ones you're going to see? Now, that's a really difficult question. I have to say I have a kind of block about seeing documentaries. I don't in a sense, I don't willingly see documentaries unless I'm sure they're going to be very, very good. So that's the way I do it. But um, I accidentally stumble on television occasionally. Like last weekend on Witness, they had this, the, the wonderful Russian film, Crimes of the Wolf, which is really a, a superb film and probably a masterpiece. The second part's coming up next Sunday. So. Uh, unless, it's, unless I can tell beforehand from, from the description or know something about the documentary, uh, I, I, I actually see very few, I think. Not that there are all that many around these days, anyway. I, virtually the only recourse is, is to television, and they're getting fewer and fewer on television, other than packaged documentaries, you know, for the History Channel or, or Arts and Entertainment, which, is, which are, is a different kind of documentary. Maybe this is a good time then just to sort of establish what, what is your definition of a documentary? Yeah, I think I've been thinking about that for about 40 years. And uh, I don't really have a good answer to that because th there's a whole range of things starting from the very earliest times of films that have been called documentaries, but I would find hard to justify. I mean, Flaherty, who is considered a great documentarian, I'm not really sure that his films are documentaries because they were, they were scripted and a kind, of, a kind of view was imposed on them that uh, I think is, is more like a scripted story than uh, a slice of, I hate to use the term, a slice of reality, which I think documentary should, should be. Um, to give a very rough and ready definition, I, I'd say that the difference between a documentary and a feature film or a fiction film is that in a fiction film you have complete control of the material, ideally. You, know, you have a script and you, you work to realize that script. In documentary, I feel that that well, that, that can be the case, ideally it's not the case, that, that you go into a subject. And, and for me, anyway, the, the process of actually making a documentary is, is a process of, of searching and researching. So in some ways, I, I often feel that by the time I've finished shooting a film, that's really where I should be beginning the film, or begin, beginning to shoot the film. Um, it's a process of discovery. You know. Try to go in with a, with a relatively open mind. And I always hate to do... Um, a proposal. I hate to do an outline because I, well, you know, this is not necessarily what I'm going to be doing. What I'm coming, going to be coming out with, okay? And in fact, it almost certainly will not be what I'm coming out with. Um, and looking for, uh, if I were a person who were, who were giving money to a documentary filmmaker, I, I would look at the filmmaker and not not at the project. I'd say, well, has the filmmaker done good work before? Can, can the filmmaker be trusted to, to realize his or her vision? And that, for me, is really the only, only important thing. <laughs>